Good morning, everybody. So today's lesson is describing and completing decimal sequences. So if the representations below show the second and third steps in a sequence, what would come before and what would come afterwards? Okay, so this representation, we have two ones and four tenths, so that shows 2.4. And this representation has two ones and six tenths. So it shows 2.6. So what would come next in this sequence? So I have to think to myself, how would I get from 2.4 to 2.6? And to get from there to there, I would add on 0 0.2. Can you see? You had four tenths, now you've got six tenths, so you've added on two tenths. So my next one, if I was going to add on another two tenths to complete this sequence, I would have a representation showing 2.8. Okay, and it asks what comes before. So therefore, we have to think, well, what would come here? So we're going to work backwards. And instead of adding on 0 0.2, we're going to take away two tenths, okay, and we would have 2.2. So now I have a sequence 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, .2, and 2.8. You can see that going up 0 0.2 each time. So here you have a number line that also shows a sequence, and it asks us to fill in the blanks. 1.1, 1.3. What would come next? Well, how do we get from 1.1 to 1.3? What's the difference between them? And again, it's the same as before. The difference is 0 0.2. So we have to add 0 0.2 each time. Let's just check that. These two numbers are together. Is it correct? Do we add on 0 0.2? Yep, we do. Okay, so the rule for the sequence is that it is going up. It's adding on two tenths each time, which is the same as 0 0.2. So this then would be 1.5, 1 1.7, 1 1.9, let's check, 2.1, 2.3, 2.5, 2.7, and 2.9. Okay, now this one is a bit more tricky because there aren't any two numbers together. But let's take a look at this. How do we get from 10.35 to 14.35? Well, we add on 4, okay, because the decimals have stayed the same. It's just the whole numbers that have changed. So what is halfway half of 4? Well, we know that half of 4 is 2. So therefore, we need to add on 2 in order to work out this one. So our number here would be 12. 0.35. We can check whether we're right. We added on 2, we get to 16.35. Does that mean if I added on 2, I would get to 18.5? Yes. So the next one would be, you've got it, 20.35. Very hard to write all the way around here. Okay, I can fill in these ones. 6.35. And 8.35, okay, and what would come right at the beginning? Okay, if I have to work out what comes before, well, I'm not going to add 2, I'm going to take away 2, and that would be 2.35. Okay, so the rule for this sequence is that it's adding by 2 each time. Okay, press pause and try and complete questions 1 to 3 on Seesaw. Okay, so for these ones, all right, it says complete the number track, then complete the sentence below. The sequence has the rule. So the rule is what is happening each time. So how do we get from 1.12 to 1.14? And how do we get from 1.14 to 1.16? Well, the rule is we're adding what each time? We're adding zero, we're not adding any ones, we're not adding any tenths, we're adding two hundredths each time. Okay, that's the rule. So this one would be 1.18, 1, oops, 1.2, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1
1.22 and 1.24. I could put the zero in here just to make it a bit more clearer. Okay, so the rule for that is you add two hundredths each time. So here we've got some word problems we need to think about. Jamal has a six kilogram bag of flour. If he uses 0 0.25 kg each day, how many days will it be until he has none left? Okay, so this time we're gonna be working backwards because we're gonna start at six and every day we have to take away 0 0.25, okay? So if I was gonna create a number line, I would count back six, and I'm taking away 0 0.25, 5.75, 5.75, 5 .5, and I would keep going like that until I get to zero. Okay, now I'm gonna run out of space, but you get the idea, five. And then my next number would be 4.75, 4 4.5, 4 4.25, 4. Then 3.75, etc., etc. And then I would have to count how many days in total. Okay. This one, Ruth has a 12 kilogram bag of rice. If she uses 0 0.75 kg each day, how many days until she runs out? So you've got to do exactly the same thing. Only you would start at 12. Okay, and you're going to count back by 0 0.75 each time. So you would get to 11.25. Got to take away 0 0.75 each time. This one would be 10.5, Okay, and you would keep going till you got to zero and then count how many numbers you've got to work out the days. All right, Yasmin is making a decimal number sequence. She's adding 1.3 to each step. She starts at 4.9. What is the first number that is greater than 11 in her sequence? So you have to create a number line, start at 4.9, add on 1.3. So add on one, that'd be 5.9, and 0.3 would be 6.2. And add on another 1.3, 7.5, Add on 1.3, 9, 10.1. .1. Add on another 1.3, 11.2. Four. So the first number that's greater than 11 would be 11.4. Will the number 14.8 be in her number sequence? Well, we'd have to carry on doing the same thing, adding 1.3 until we got to there. 12.7, uh, 13, 13, I'm just trying to think, 13, 14, and Add on another 1.8, 15, 1.3, sorry, 15.3. So would it be in there? No. And my explanation is my number sequence. Okay, press pause and complete the rest of the questions on Seesaw. Good luck. <laughs>